In this video, I'll be talking about the correlation matrix and how it can be used to see what kind of correlation we have between any one of the independent variables and the dependent variable. So a little background, this is an extension of a couple of previous videos in this series where I took a bunch of stock prices and how much it changed from, from one day to the next. So today's percent change would be the dependent variable for all of these different stocks and, and the share price. Uh, and then the independent variables are the previous day's percent change. How much did the, did the stock change in, in the day before and uh, previous day's high as a percent of close and previous day's low as a percent of close. And we wanted to see in the previous videos, well, could we make a regression equation that could then predict what would be the next day's percent change? And that'd be very valuable if you if you could do that. Uh, it turned out, unfortunately, that uh, it was not a very good predictive model. Either we didn't have enough data or just these variables just aren't um, that great as predictors. Well, another way to look at that is the correlation matrix. So I'm going to go to Tools. If you haven't done this before, you go to Add-ins in the Analysis Tool Pack. Make sure you've got that. And then Tools, Data Analysis. I'll go to the correlation and hit OK. And then you choose all of your data, including your um, dependent and independent variables. I have also the labels in the first row, so I've chosen, chosen those. I'm not going to choose the Y and the X uh, labels because that's just for your reference to see what is the dependent and independent variables. But we've got the, the titles here of the data. The output range, I'm going to start in F1, cell F1. So I'll say OK, and I've got this output, and it gives us a matrix. That is, what is the correlation? And I want to make it clear right now that these correlations, these numbers are correlations, they are not the same as the coefficients in the regression equation. Not the same as the coefficients, but these are correlations. So. Remember that the correlation, the, the strongest correlation is a perfect 1 or a negative 1. So a slope of, of uh, positive or negative. But a perfect correlation of 1, well, this makes sense. Today's percent change is perfectly correlated with today's percent change because it's all the same data. So that is perfectly uh, correlated. And you'll see that along this diagonal for the, the variables matching with themselves. But what about this one? Today's percent change, how is that related? How is that correlated with the previous day's percent change? Not very well. It looks like it has a correlation of only 0.135. Now, a correlation of 0 means absolutely no correlation. This is very low. And the next one is even worse. This independent variable, previous high, day's high as a percent of close, is almost not at all correlated with today's percent change. So that's that's no good. Now again the correlation can be negative. That's if the slope is negative. So a negative one correlation would be a perfect correlation. But this again is not good. Not just because it's uh, negative but because it's very close to zero. So negative 0.218 is this correlation. So this is a this correlation matrix is another way to see that, unfortunately, these, these three variables that we see um, are just not going to be good at predicting or not very well correlated to today's percent change, unfortunately. Now, if you find some other variables that would um, be able to predict what's going to happen to the stock price tomorrow, or, or if you find some other variables that are very well correlated, to the next day's stock price, well, that's that would be fantastic. And you can use these tools to, to analyze what you found.